Hi, today I'm going to show you another makeup that I did on Claudia using the original Bieber makeup. I just want to reiterate, I know this is all obvious stuff, but vintage makeup is for collecting, it's not for using. I know I used it a bit on myself the other day, but I took it straight off, and I know I'm using it on Claudia, but I've got very pristine vintage makeup which has never been opened and also I'm a professional and I really protected her skin again you know I've used what I did on the other one you know I've used the primer and I've moisturized and I've used a modern day foundation and a modern day eye primer and all of those things and um, so don't attempt it at home don't start thinking oh, I'm going to start buying really old makeup and using it because that's not what vintage makeup that's not why anyone collects vintage makeup. I collect it for the beautiful packaging, the history, the interest factor, and how much it inspires me. But I have to say, doing this as an experiment has been so great for me. I've really, really enjoyed just experiencing the textures and the colors and the pigments that they had then. And being able to use it in this way and create looks has been just fantastic for me and, and really great fun. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much, watching it as much as I've enjoyed doing it. And um, this, I think, today is another great one. It's using the Birds of Paradise collection, which is just as you'd imagine. It was really bright colours, oranges, greens, yellows, and I just... I just think the pigments and the colours are amazing. So I hope you enjoy watching it and I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm going to start by using the Bronze Outcast pencil. First, just close your eyes for me. And this is an amazing colour. I'm just going to use this all over Claudia's eyelid and blend it in in a second. All these rust and plum and maroon colours, sludgy, deep colours were very typical of the Bieber palette. So I'm just bringing it up higher onto Claudia's lids and then I'm going to blend it into the socket line. I'm going to use a mixture of these two palettes, one's called Parrot and one's called Chestnut and you can see that they're very typically Bieber colours, lots of sort of chestnutty browns, rusty colours. I'm probably going to start by using this this colour here. Pat this down onto the eye pencil and then using a 217. You can see how pigmented they are as well. So again on the other eye just patting the pigment directly onto the pencil. They're very very strongly pigmented. Okay I'm going to do the same underneath. Can you just look up for me Claudia? going to smoke the pencil out. Okay, so before I carry on with the eyes, I'm going to use some of the Bieber Cream Rouge, and this one is Burgundy. I'm just going to use it mainly on the apples of Claudia's cheeks, and then blend the edges. I'm going to blend it right up underneath the eye makeup, which would have been quite typical at the time. So next I'm going to use the yellow colour from the Parrot palette, just to soften in those edges. So I'm going to use this light green just into the inner corner. So next I'm going to use the China Doll Peach powder. These were the face powders that came in pinks and peaches and this one is amazing shade of peach. So some China Doll Peach onto the cheeks. Now this powder would have been used all over the face um, to create a real sort of peachy glow all over, but I think it may be a little bit too much. <laughs> so I'm using some Ardell Fairy Lashes. I think these will really look great. Let's let that dry for a second. So I'm going to go on to brows. I'm going to use the Bieber Top and Tail, which is the name for their brow pencil and brush. And this is the gold blend. I'm going to mix it with Ingot, which is the gold coal pencil. So I'm mixing in the gold coal pencil just to keep it all very goldy and very sort of mustardy as well. 
very in keeping with the, the colour palette. I'm going to add some of this dark brown from the chestnut palette now. God, that's so pigmented. It's amazing. <laughs> you only need to touch slightly and you've got so much on there. I don't think I know any other makeup that's this pigmented. Just going to add a touch of the bright orange and then finish off with a little bit more of the gold from the Parrot palette. And taking the yellowy gold onto the cheekbone. I'm going to go back in with the yellow underneath. I'm also going to bring it down onto the cheekbone as well. To finish off with a touch more green in there. Now I'm going to use for lips, I'm going to go back to the cream blusher in burgundy. I'm just going to use this with my finger. And that's it. And that's the finished look. 